Patrick Vernon, a filmmaker from Wolverhampton, has made a documentary about Eddie Martin Noble, who came to Britain from Jamaica. There were 10,000 of us by the end of the war that were in the Air Force. And 99.9% of us never went beyond the rank of sergeant. Eddie was one of 10,000 Caribbean people who served in World War II, and Patrick's work explores the historical relationships between the Caribbean islands and the mother country. Uh, you spoke to Eddie Noble uh, a number of years ago, and I've seen his story. What a phenomenal gentleman. He was like a grandfather figure to me. Uh, he was born uh, in Jamaica in 1917. Uh, he came to Britain in 1943. He served in the RAF. He stayed on in the RAF till 1951 and then he was a, he had his own business um, and he had he worked in the, in the manufacturing industry um, and then eventually when he retired he started to write his memoirs he wrote uh, Jamaican Airmen in 1984 and that was probably one of the earliest books which actually articulated the Caribbean contribution to World War II particularly with the RAF as well. He faced many challenges and obstacles in his life, but he always had a positive attitude uh, in terms of making a contribution to Britain. And I learned a lot from him in many ways. And so I, it was, I felt very privileged and honor to interview him and make a documentary about his life and particularly about the Windrush contribution to Britain. It just feels like we have this kind of culture amnesia when it comes to certain aspects of British history that people's histories are hidden or suppressed. And I think it's important that we celebrate Windrush Day. We celebrate the likes of Eddie and the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of men and women, not just from the Caribbean, but all parts of different parts of the Commonwealth that have made Britain great. So, so what are you calling for the government to do about Windrush? One of my key goals is for there to be a national recognition every year Windrush Day, which is celebrated up and down the country recognising the contribution of the Windrush generation, but also creating a permanent legacy that this generation is part of British history. For the last 14, 15 years, I've, I've been doing lots of workshops uh, up and down the country, in the Midlands, in London, on helping people to trace their family history, which I think is quite important, because if you have a sense of your family history, you have a sense of where we fit in this world, how we fit in Britain, around belonging, uh, identity uh, as well. Uh, but one of the key things, even though there have been fantastic programmes over the years called, you know, such as Who Do You Think You Are? And, and there's lots of books out there on genealogy and tracing family tree. If you're from, a, uh, particularly from a, a, a Caribbean, African or Southeast Asian background, particularly, or a, a migrant, ba migrant community background, often family history records in the UK and even books and materials don't really support you in a way to do the work on your family history. And one of the key challenges facing people tracing their family history is how do you start the process of storytelling, collecting stories about family. So I decided to create a board game as a fun way to help people start the process of tracing the family tree.